Ooh, tough puzzle. There we go. Stop right there. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, answer my questions. Who the hell are you? Put down your weapons first. Until I determine you're not a threat, we'll point our weapons wherever we damn well please. Who told you how to contact us? I just heard a rumor about you guys in Diamond City. I see. I need intel. Who is this? Wow! Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal out there. Glad someone noticed. You know, you're practically famous. The Brotherhood of Steel let you into their ranks. That's a hell of a thing there. And, as if that wasn't enough, the Railroad owes you a crate, hell, a truckload of Nuka-Cola for what you did to Kellogg. He was our public enemy number one. So you're vouching for him? Yes, trust me. He's someone we want on our side. That changes things. So, stranger, why did you want to meet with us anyway? You're the only ones fighting the Institute, and I want to take them down. I'd like to say that nobody comes here out for blood, out for revenge. That everyone's here to help their fellow man. That would be a lie, though. The Institute's going to pay for what they've done to my family. You have a lot in common with too many of us, I'm afraid. If we're going to be dealing with you, I need to make sure we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? Yeah, I know all about them. Good. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. That sounds like slavery. Exactly. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? Once, I pledged my life to protect my countrymen. I don't see this as any different. Well said. You are right about us. We're the only ones in the Commonwealth brave enough or stupid enough to fight the Institute. And we could use more brothers in arms. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. Hey there. Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Your leader was just being cautious. And scary. Cautious and scary. And I suppose caution is warranted, given the company you keep. Exactly. Kind of killed our chance at a friendly first impression, though. But it's all good now. I vouched for you. Nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. Too bad. Do you really have to be so cagey? It's likely in his DNA, darling. Or his programming, if you prefer. Exactly. Why the cages? We're not even in a zoo. The precautions are necessary. In our business, if we underestimate our enemy's capabilities, it's game over. What's done is done. Yeah, literally. Best not to dwell on mistakes of the past. After all, I'm sure you'll be making more in the future. A healthy attitude. If you greet all newcomers like that, no one's ever gonna help you. Except us. Because we're desperate for friends. Yes. I'd much rather be greeted by dancers in a full orchestra. Don't be too hard on the old girl. She's just looking after her wayward children. So tell me, why did you vouch for me? In our little outfit, it's my job to know things. And with everything you've done, it's clear you're capable. A dangerous enemy. And I'm betting a valuable ally. But why the trust? You can't be taking it all on faith. I don't know if we can trust you, but I hope we can. We just survived a hell of a crisis, so we may just be a teeny-weeny bit desperate for new members. If everything was sunshine and bottle caps, we'd probably play a longer getting-to-know-you game, but we don't have that luxury. Really? Is that all? You just don't give up. Alright, 
I have a short list of people I think would be a good fit for our family. You piqued my interest, so maybe I asked around, did my homework. If you hadn't found us, there's a chance I would have found you instead. Thanks for saving me the trip.